Welcome to the office. A fresh news section called Around the Boy and a thorough information on an important topic. You're watching The Selling News. 80 of the world's fastest dinghy sailors from 15 nations are gathering in Hawaii for the prestigious Moth World Championships. A rare October appearance of unstable weather conditions sends a shockwaves through the fleet in Hawaii. Light to moderate trade winds in Kanohe Bay allows for a tactical championship in the postcard perfect conditions. The regatta is intense and collisions are not rare. What a scary crash that I just had with Philippe there. And so we both bared away at the same time and we had um, what can only really be described as a head-on collision. The boat are badly damaged and the skippers have to retire. So this one cracked and uh, it's missing a, a big piece. In there, the sail was a bit open because I was bearing away, so his shroud got into my boom, the boom cracked, so I think the shock was really wild. Raising airbrows amongst the fleet, French sailing superstar Loïc Perron is making his moth debut in Hawaii. I had the chance with Artemis to share a year of my life with uh, one of the best guys like Nathan, like Adam, like uh, all these guys. And it such has been a, a big pity to not try. Taking advantage of a weaker performance from Nathan Atridge, 2009 Moth World Champion Bora Grali blasts ahead by a five points margin on the penultimate day of racing. An early squall drenches the 80 competitors as they prepare their flying carbon fiber craft for the final day of racing. The rain and clouds bring with them an unfortunate side effect, cooling down the mountains and shutting down the building thermal breeze. All racings are cancelled. <laughs> the American racers lift Boragulari in the air and tosses him in the club pool for his 2013 world title. I, I took myself basically checked out and only focused on the moth for a good chunk of time and when it's all you do every single day it, it pays off obviously. Gulari becomes the first American two times moth world champion since 1959. A quick and sharp review of the week, the Around the Boys section is next. A record-breaking fleet of 99 yachts from nearly 20 countries started the 34th Middle Sea Race. A 600 nautical miles race starting and finishing in Malta. Crossing the finish line at 4 a.m. on Tuesday morning, Morning Glory, the 86-footer maxi skipped by Christina Platner, claims line on in the 2013 Rolex Middle Sea Race. The Student Yachting World Cup is an event organized by students for students. Open to all countries to compete, the 2013 edition welcomes 14 teams representing 12 nations. Following 18 races held over the course of a week-long event, France from Kedge Business School celebrates their new world title. After assessing the future for several months, the organizers of the Tour de France à la Voile are bringing the focus on youth and amateur sailing. To help such teams to enter the race, they are opening the fleet to Grand Surprise boats. The monohull is cheaper than the M34 and a popular kill boat amongst young and amateur sailors. The Three Boy Challenge sees the return of the spectacular 18-foot skiff in the Bay of Sydney. John O'Whitty, helming Lumix, leads the race on the first beat and skips away from the fleet for an all-the-way victory. The New Zealand government announces that it will provide Team New Zealand with $5 million of interim funding to allow the team to retain key members ahead of the 35th America's Cup. The funding comes before the team has made a decision whether or not to challenge for the trophy it failed to win last month in San Francisco. Twelve clippers start race three of the Round the World Yacht Race of the Brazilian coast. A 3,400 nautical miles South Atlantic challenge to Cape Town in South Africa. Rendezvous next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing. <laughs>